of the nine chapters, uh, the eight chapters before, starting with chapter 40 through 48. That's nine chapters. And uh, this, this uh, 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 recapitulates what he said in the nine chapters. Uh,第四十八章是在这个九章里面的最后一章,他实际上是回顾前面八个章里面所讲的,做一个小节。And, uh, you notice it, he was addressing, uh, uh, he was addressing Israel, but he calls him the house of Jacob. Uh,他在称呼以色列的时候是说,呃,这个,呃,雅各的家。Chapter 48 is the last chapter of the first nine chapters of Isaiah 40 to 66章。那在40章到66章里面又分成這個三個九章,現在這個第48章是第一個九章的最後一章。in so it Isaiah recapitulates what he has written in chapters 40 through 47. 從40章到47章這八章裡面講的內容,現在第48章裡面做了一個總結回顧。He starts out by telling who is the main subject of his discourse. 他現在在講說這個他開始的稱呼實際上是講了這個對象,就是這七章節所所所給的這個信息的對象是誰。And he uh, he says, "Hear O house of Jacob, 他說雅各家 Jacob was the son second son of Isaac. 但是呢雅各是以撒的兩個兒子當中的第二個兒子, but was the one God chose to carry on the promise given to Abraham. 如果你讀創世紀你就知道是雅各是要繼承耶和華對這個亞伯蘭的這個應許的這麼一個這個這麼一個受應許的兒子 Now with reference to the promise Jacob was given the name Israel 後來為了要這個強化,為了要這個建立耶和華對對亞伯蘭的這個盟約,他把雅各的名字後來稱為以色列。Then Isaiah states who came forth from the loins of Judah. 然後他說從這個亞猶大的水源出來了。Now, after King Solomon, the nation of Israel was divided into two nations. 大家知道所羅門王之後,以色列王國就分裂為兩個王國。Ten tribes went to the northern kingdom and it was called Israel. 在北方的十個支派被稱為以色列。Two tribes went to the southern kingdom and it was called Judah. Now from Judah had come King David, and so Judah is mentioned above Benjamin. Now, Israel, when this was written, had all, uh, the northern kingdom had already gone into exile of immeasurable duration. So here, Judah stands as representative of the old Israel. 所以很顯然,既然北方的以色列王國已經淪陷,那麼現在的猶大國就成為原來以色列王國的代表了。Now, 
as the prophecy uh, has Israel as its central theme, Isaiah now gives us the picture of Israel that he was up against uh, as God had told him in chapter 6, 9 and 10. Then turn back to Isaiah 6. And uh, we will and see he was sent to he was sent to Israel and uh, God said to him uh, uh, 9 and 10 go and tell this people keep on listening but do not perceive keep on looking but do not understand render the hearts of this people insensitive their ears dull and their eyes dim lest they see with their eyes hear with their ears understand with their hearts and return and be healed uh, Isaiah because you see in verse 1 here, he says, uh, Who swear by the name of the Lord and uh, invoke the God of Israel, but not in truth nor in righteousness. Uh, so he shows us how Israel has acted over the centuries. And but although Israel was not true to God, continually turning from him to false gods. Um, See, they still acknowledged Jehovah as their God. In their secular conversation, they did not swear by Bel or other gods. But they would swear by the name of the Lord. They would invoke the, the God of Israel. But in their hearts, they did not recognize him as of any importance to their everyday life. Isaiah said they did not swear in truth or righteousness. Just like people today use the name of Jesus Christ when something amazes them without realizing who Jesus Christ is. 就像现在的人,哦,讲到这个耶稣基督,讲到看见神迹奇事,都会讲神啊什么,但是他们实际上心里并不真正的承认这个相信的神。And when something startling comes to them and there's a danger there, and they will say, oh my God. 然后呢,这些人,他尽管心里不相信神,但是当他生命中遭受重击,或者一些特别这个... 这个受特别的惊吓的时候，他们，他们的，他们的自然反应就是我的天，我的神嘛。Uh, 
But if God were to turn up, they'd be terrified. They weren't thinking about God at all. And, and this is this is what Israel was like. 这就, 所以这个当时的犹太人就跟现在的, 呃, 人一样, See, they boasted in their holy city Jerusalem and proclaimed that they trusted in the God of Israel. 你看, 啊, 自称为是圣城耶路撒冷的人 然后呢, 说是我们依靠以色列的神, 万军之耶和华, See verse 2 there? 这在第二节, and they call themselves after the holy city and lean on the God of Israel. 你看在第二节说, 当然自称是圣城的人, 他们是圣城里面的人, they, would, see, they would say their God is the Lord of hosts and get angry if anyone said anything evil about him. 你看他们就是称说,哎,我们,我们现在,我们的神是万军之耶和华,如果有人,呃,这个,随便,哦,这个污蔑,呃,这个耶和华的名,他们还不高兴。See,they in their hearts and in their daily lives, it did not bother them to disobey him. 但是呢, 反过来, 他们在自己, 在日常生活当中, 在他们的生命里面, they would even pray to heathen gods but not discard Jehovah. 他们是会做一些离奇古怪的事情,就是他们这个会对外邦的神去祷告。那同时他们也说,哎,我也祷,我也,我也信这个,我也依靠耶和华。See, they had no problem with an attitude like that. 他们根本不认为这是一个什么,什么不好或者奇怪的事。So, God sends Isaiah to them to straighten them out and declare to them something uh, that should waken them up. 所以,耶和华决定差遣先知以赛亚到他们中间去。去唤醒这一群在属灵上沉睡的一群这个背义的百姓。In in verse three, he says, "I declare the former things long ago, and they went forth from my mouth, and I proclaimed them. Suddenly I acted, and they came to pass." 第三节说，主说，早先的事儿我从古时说明，已经出了我的口，也是我所指示的。我忽然行作，事便成就。He he says. Look, I declare to you the former things. Uh, so See, before the things happened, I had already said it. 在这些事情发生之前, 我是先, then suddenly it happened, and happened exactly as I said it would. 而且我以前说了, and what he was inferring was, you should know this, it is written in your history books. But, verse 4, but, but, but I know, because I know that you are obstinate, and your neck is an iron sinew, and your forehead bronze. Now God knew how obstinate and stiff-necked his people were. 耶和华很知道这些人是这个景象有多硬,他们的额是有多尖. But let us not think that the Jews were any worse than us. 但是大家不要以为犹太人是比我们更败坏. The gospel is being, being preached clearly all over the world. 这个福音是被清清楚楚传遍了天下的万邦. And people will not receive it for themselves. You see, look what we were just praying about. And uh, Jane, Jane translated that uh, email that you got, Alex, for, for me. Uh, and one thing she said was that her sister-in-law, that's her brother's wife, uh, was was getting a little bit listening a little bit uh, a little bit better. No, it's her her sister. 
It's not sister in law. Right? He sister. said sister in law. Yeah. And Shane said sister in law. Um, so, in this book, you have to say that 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 you and the thing is, it's been explained clearly. See, people obstinately fight against it. 但是大家知道，这个人的头脑里面就是这么这么坚决的要要要抵挡。Even people who call themselves Christians do not follow Christ in truth and righteousness. 啊，甚至有一些基督徒自称是基督徒的。自称是基督徒的人，在教会里的人，他们生命当中也有常常是抵挡神，啊，过一个不不让神做主的这么一个基督徒。And so then, uh, Isaiah brings in verse five, where where he again brings in prophecy, and he says, I told I, the prophecy that I told happened, and I told it to you beforehand so that you will not say that it was your idols that did it. 在四十八章的五节，这个耶和华再次的提醒以色列人说：“我所说的预言，我说在先，我后来又成就，免得你们把我做的这些事情记到偶像的这个账上去。” You see, because of their hardness, uh, their hard, uh, hard heartedness, God continued to prophesy as a means to get them to turn to Him. 呃，尽管犹太人心硬额坚，但是呢，耶和华还是继续的行神机，目的只有一个，就是希望这些百姓能够回头悔改。See, fulfilled prophecy is something that cannot be ignored. 这个，所以这个，呃，这个耶和华成就这些先知所讲的预言，实际上啊，犹太人是没有办法否认。They God purposely prophesied long in advance. At a time when they could have no possible way of even guessing it. Uh,耶和华讲预言的时候，常常是时间足够长，长到一种程度。嗯，那个时候讲预言的人根本没有办法计算、猜想，都猜不出将来会怎么样的情况。之下，他讲预言，后来又去应验。So that they would have no chance of saying it was their idols that did it. 耶和华如此行，就是免得以色列人说。Okay, then, uh, then, uh, verses six and seven, God is uh, prophesying about something new. 在四十八章的第第六、第九、第九节，呃，第六、第七节，耶和华又在继续的讲新的预言。And he he says, and you have heard. Look at all this, and you will not, uh, and will you not declare it? I proclaim to you new things from this time. 在第六节说，你已经听见，现在要看见这一切，你不说明吗？从今以后，我将新事，就是你所不知道的隐秘事，指示你。So now, I the the thing, there are many things that are not new to you. 啊，耶和华的意思说，以前很多的事，对你来讲，对你们来讲，已经不是新事了。You have heard these things. Uh, in the past, everything that happened to you, I had told you in advance. And, and as I said before, even now, I have not discarded you. Now, I am telling you new things now that are going to happen. I'm telling you how you will be delivered from Babylon. And Babylon, you don't recognize as an enemy yet. King Hezekiah has just shown him their envoy all the riches of Judah. Now these things are hidden from you. I have hidden them from you because you are a treacherous people and will try to get credit to yourselves. 
by saying, "Oh, we already knew that." 呃，我之所以把这些事以前向你们隐藏，是因为你们这些人啊，是常常是一个夜郎自大，不知道这个没有这个啊，会会说，哎，这事我都以前都以前都知道。You see, the end of verse seven, there said, "Lest you should say, 'Behold, I know them.'" 哦，所以在第七节。The 前半节说，免得你说这事儿我早已知道。And then the end of verse eight, it says, and you have been called a rebel from birth. 呃，在这个第八节，这个第八节的最后一行说，你自从出胎以来便称为悖逆的。Now verses nine to eleven, because you are a rebel, my wrath should fall on you. 在第九节说，因呃这个因为。在第八节说，因为你的你们是一个悖逆的，所以呢，我的震怒就藏在你们身上。Because it says here, for the sake of my wrath, I delay my wrath. For the sake of my name, I delay my wrath. 在第九节说，我为我的名暂且忍怒。And uh, um, and for my praise, I restrain it for you in order not to cut you off. 在后半节说，为我的颂赞向你容忍，不将你解除。Because you are a rebel, my wrath should fall on you. 因为你是悖逆之子，所以我的震怒，我的愤怒，应该是落到你身上才对。But I am delaying it. 但是呢，我现在暂且忍耐。I am I refrain from doing it in order to bring praise to my name. 我之所以向你容忍，不将你剪除，是因为什么？最终要让我自己的名得称赞。As if I did what was just, uh, you would be cut off. 如果我要花凭公义行事，你们就被老早就被剪除了。See, I am refining you to make you what you ought to be. 我在熬炼你们，使得你们啊、uh, 能够成为我想要你们成为的百姓。And uh, but I am not um. It is on verse eleven. For my own sake, uh, for my own sake, uh, I will act. 在第十一节的第一行说，我为自己的缘故必行这事儿。Say I am doing this not for your glory. 我做这些事情不是让你们以色列人得荣耀 ，but for my glory. 是为我耶和华自己得荣耀。It is for my own sake that I will act. 是因为我自己的缘故，我才行这个事情。My name will not be profaned. 我的名必不被亵渎。I will not allow my glory to be given to another. 第十一节最后一行说，我必不将我的荣耀归给假神。The heathen gods you make、um, idols of will not get my glory. 那些外邦的神，你们人手所造的偶像，永远都不能分享我的荣耀。And neither will you, Israel. You see, we we have to understand this thing. This is how God dealt with Israel, and this is how God deals with us. So we must be sure to remember this is how God deals with us. So we must be sure to remember this is how God deals with us. 啊、uh, ，现在耶和华照样的如何对待他自己的百姓 ？And and so then again to try to 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 get them to come turn around,、uh, God reveals again who He is. 耶和华苦口婆心，想要让以色列人回头。现在他要让让他们看见，呃，耶和华是一个什么样的神。You see, verse twelve. Listen to me, O Jacob, even Israel, whom I called. I am He. I am the first. I am the last. 在第十二节说，以色雅各，我所选召的以色列，当听我言。我是耶和华，我是首先的，也是幕后的。And verse thirteen, he went on again about creation. 在第十三节，他继续的谈耶和华造天地。Surely my hand founded the earth, and my right hand spread out the heavens. When I called to them, they stand together. 第十三节说，我手立了地的根基，我右手铺张诸天，我一招呼，便都立住。You see,、uh, God then again reveals who He is. This is very important, so Jacob is told is told to listen. In, uh, this, now, Yahweh wants to let the people know he is a very important God. So he is calling them to listen. Jacob 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 is calling them to listen. 
。雅各是谁呢？是在遇见雅各遇见耶和华之前，他的名字叫雅各。It symbolized his heart of rebellion. 这个雅各这个名字实际上是一个象征，象征那个这个雅雅各在遇见耶和华之前，他是个悖逆之子。But here God says, "I am He." 他说：“我是耶和华 ，The only God， 是我是唯一的神。I am the first and the last， 我是首先的，也是幕后的。I am eternal， 我是永恒的。I founded the earth， 我也立了地的根基。My hands spread out the heavens， 我右手曾经铺张诸天。When I call to the heavens， they stand together。当我一招呼诸天，他们都啊、呃、立住。In other words， no other one had a hand in。” Creating the universe. 意思说，在造天地万物的时候，没有其他任何人插手。That, so you see, God had to had to、uh, remind them who He was again. 耶和华实际上是提醒以色列人，这个他自己是谁。Then Isaiah brings out that amazing prophecy prophecy about Cyrus. 啊、uh, ，然后以赛亚就再把关于。这个赛鲁士的这个预预言，非常奇妙的预言，再次的提醒他们。Who was to show up over a hundred years later? 这个赛鲁士是要在一百多年以后才出来的人。And and he you know in fourteen, he challenges um uh who but God could know this? 在第十四节讲到过，谁说过这些事儿呢？ You see, assemble all all of you and listen. Who among you has declared these things? 第十四节说，你们都当聚集而听。他们内中谁说过这些事儿 ？Cyrus is loved by God. 呃，这个赛鲁士是耶和华所喜悦的。And God will see to it that He will bring on Babylon what God desires Babylon to receive. 而且耶和华决定通过赛鲁士他所爱的人来向巴比伦行他所喜悦的事。He enforces the the fact that God is the one who will do this. 他加强语气说，耶和华是那个出手管教在耶这个加勒底人身上做事的那么一个神。See, Cyrus would accomplish the destruction of Babylon, but not by his own power. 塞鲁斯将要完成毁摧毁巴比伦帝国的这个重任，但是呢，不是借靠着塞鲁斯自己的能力，乃是靠耶和华的大能。It will be done by the power of the Lord God and His Spirit. 他将要凭这个耶和华的大能，他的耶和华的灵方能行事，方能成事。See from the time in verse sixteen, from the time it took place, I was there, and now the Lord God has sent me and His Spirit. That is Cyrus talking. 在第十六节，这个实际上引用的是赛鲁士所说的话。他说：“我从起头未，并未曾在隐秘处说话。自从有这事儿，我就在这里。” Now all this is happening because God is their Redeemer. 之所以这些事情能够发生，因为耶和华是他们的救赎主。You see, thus saith the Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord your God, who teaches you to profit. 在第十七节说，耶和华你的救赎主以色列圣者如此说：我是耶和华你的神，教训你，使你得益处，引导你所当行的路。This is God's plan of salvation, which comes to Israel first. 这是耶和华所预备的救恩，要临到以色列家。It is a shame that they、uh, had not paid attention to this before. 很可惜，也是件很可耻的事情，就是以色列人从来就不不呃呃不不引起重这个啊、呃、不引起这个这啊不重视这个事情。You see verse eighteen there. If only you had paid attention to my commandment. 你看在第十八节说，甚愿你素来听从我的命令。If they had only listened, they would have been the glory of all nations. 如果他们听从耶和华的命令，他们才成为在万邦中成为以色列，就是耶和华的荣耀。Their children would have numbered in the myriads. 而且他们的这个后裔必多如海边的沙
and no destruction would have come on them. See, but they refused to listen. Now, but in spite of all that, of all their rebellion, deliverance is coming. Now, I want you to pay attention to these next three verses. They go forth from Babylon, flee from the Chaldeans, declare with a sound of joyful shouting, proclaim this, send it out to the ends of the earth, say, The Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob. And they did not thirst when, it, when he led them through the deserts. He made the water flow out of the rock for them. He split the rock and the water gushed forth. I mean, all that's being said there is wonderful, wonderful news for them. Nimme See, the redemption that God is preparing for mankind, they will begin to experience it here. And it, tells, it talks about the details that they will be, re, they, they will be meeting. The Lord will lead them out through the wilderness. Providing them water all along the way. They will be led home and eternal protection will be theirs. Now, read the last verse. There is no peace for the wicked. Isaiah adds a statement which seems to be incongruous. It does not go along with verses 20 21 at all. And so some critics say, but well, this. Why was why was that put in there? It just doesn't fit with the What is he driving it? There is no peace for the wicked. You see, when we when studying Isaiah all through, this idea has been there. Uh, this statement is a warning to the world. Although God has prepared a life of joy for all who will obey Him, there is no peace for those who rebel. Now, very interesting. This is the last verse at the end of the first nine chapters. Now, the next nine chapters 
ends with chapter 57. Open chapter 20, chapter 57. Have it there? This is it now. This is the this is the last chapter of the second nine chapters. And look at verse twenty-one. There is no peace, says my God, for the wicked. Exactly the same the same the same. 这个五十七章的二十一节居然跟四十八章的二十二节居然是完全一样，一个字都不差。See, God has prepared uh, good things, good news for the world. 所以我们是要明白，耶和华上帝是为全人类预备了一个美好的福音，没错。But the hard-heartedness of people uh, fight against it. 但是人刚硬的心。God calls them wicked. But now that's not the end. Go to chapter 66章。And it is a little bit different, but it is more comprehensive. Then they shall go forth and look on the corpses of the men who have transgressed against me, for their worm shall not die and their fire shall not be quenched, for they shall be an abhorrence to all mankind. 在六十六章的二十四节是整一卷以赛亚书最后一章，也是第三个九章的最后一节经文，是在说什么呢？二十四节说，他们必诸去观看那些违背我人的尸尸首，因为他们的虫是不死的，他们的火是不灭的。这是
in the gospel, the Son in the gospel. 在这个第三个礼拜，也就是本周的这个星期天，我们在聚会的时候，啊，我们的信息将会是在福音中的这个圣子耶稣。Listen very carefully to to what it is. What what does God have? Uh, um, I mean, what? How does the gospel include God? 呃，所以大家要仔仔细的去揣摩，仔细的去思想、默想这个事情，就是在福音里面啊、呃，如何的把神归纳进来，这神在福音里面到底起了一个什么样的作用 ？And and you will see that at the very end, when we get to the end of the series of sermons, you could put this verse in: "There is no peace to the wicked." 呃，很奇妙的事情。就是每一次我们这个讲到以后，尤其是我们这个系列讲到讲完以后，你会发现最完美的一个最应该放的一个最后一节经文，在我们的这个主日讲到的信息的最后几经文，也应该是这些经文，就是恶人必不得平安。That's why we have to be insistent on telling the gospel. 所以我们必须每一个基督徒，我们在座的弟兄，我们给人传福音的时候，确实必须要。啊，非常的坚持，而且毫不动摇，没有什么疑问。Now, do you have any questions about that? 大家关于今天的课有什么问题 ？How I'm going to ask you to pray for us? 我们请陈浩弟兄给大家做结束祷告。